Hi, it's Kamil here. Uh, today I'd like to tell you about um, something uh, that has uh, occurred to me. Well, I realized that I've been quite inauthentic with myself uh, recently. So what, what, what has happened? Well, I've been... I am kind of a positive person and I've been recently teaching quite a lot of people, lecturing even, so to say, about, you know, what you what is good to do about your life, how to set up goals, make sure that they are exciting, how to deal with negative things, how to do this and that. But in the meantime, I've been a bit inauthentic with myself because I haven't been really doing what I am supposed to do. And what I am supposed to do, well, I have some ideas, probably my... Um, what I am supposed to do, my mission on earth, is, is to speak more to people, to, to get out there, to get into speaking engagement, make sure that I can help more and more people. Also, you know, I'm good with technology, so I might be, you know, talking about the gadget, making reviews, I like learning things. But what I've been doing, I've been focusing more on the on certain on building a business that, that I like, but it doesn't inspire me, it doesn't excite me. And I teach people, you know, you need to find your passion and follow this. And I haven't been doing this myself. I've been lying to myself. I've been saying, yeah, but maybe I need to do this first to learn this to help me. Well, yes, but if I don't align what I'm doing with what my ultimate goal is, what my passions are, and I haven't done it, then it's no good because I'm not excited about this. I'm kind of, you know, I'm doing this for the sake of doing because I might have some money from it. But, you know, every day is, is difficult kind of because I get up, I'm not inspired. You know, I use all the techniques that I've learned and I shared with you, you know, to deal with uh, the body saying, yeah, yeah, let's go a little bit more to sleep. And I have some success and I have some failure with this. And I've been inauthentic with myself. And that's obvious now. The challenge is, what am I going to do about this? Well, there are big decisions for me to take. You know, I have a business partner. I cannot just tell him, you know what, now you go and do it yourself. But on the other hand, you know, being inauthentic with myself, it on, only makes the situation worse. So, you know, I need to find a, a way out of it. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'm just, again, lying to myself because maybe the business I'm doing now, it's actually good. I just need to f align it with the things, with my values, with the things that I want to achieve. And suddenly I will become excited. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do, frankly speaking. And, um, well, and it worries me a little bit. And uh, why I'm sharing this with you? Well, I hope that it will make you think as well. Now, how, how did this occur to me? Well, today I listened ag uh, again, probably, uh, to a speech by Dr. De Martini that he gave, I think it was in 2007. It, it is a two-hour speech about relationships, about uh, our role in life, about various uh, laws of the universe, and so on. And it inspired me, it opened my eyes, and. You know, I thought about what he said and kind of compared it to my own life and I started seeing what I've been doing and, and also I'm, I'm doing another course at the moment with Landmark Education which is called Excellence in the Zone and, and I also did some other courses and, and because of that I can see now that I simply have been inauthentic with myself and when you're inauthentic with yourself, your body lets you know because you don't have a lot of energy nothing inspires you or not many things uh, you fall uh, asleep easily you get tired easily um, you get sick easily uh, life seems like um, a struggle time seems to to be you know this thing that drags or just uh, I don't know is there well when you when you are authentic with yourself when you get into the zone into the flow suddenly the time stops existing you just don't see time as as normally. I, I don't know what exactly what it's like because I haven't experienced a lot of this. I think we all have experienced this every now and then when we found our passion and we were kind of timeless in, in that moment. Uh, I'm not talking about when you know when you are enjoying something so much that the time seems to you know like fly. Whew. I'm talking about moments when it becomes timeless. So I'm not sure myself. Let's ask Dr. De Martini about this if he can explain. But yeah, that that's that's the problem in my life. And uh, well, I I like some help if you could suggest something because you know it's easy to tell other people what to do but with your own life it's it's pretty tough so um, I will appreciate your your help suggestions support uh, some coaching maybe mentoring as well so well 
I'm looking forward to that. So thank you for, for all your support.